Hello and welcome. Thank you for ever so much for joining us in this uh, 10 year anniversary special video where I'm just doing something a little fun for the uh, for 10th year that the channel has been active and 16 bit has been around. Uh, I started this as just a cute little business back in 2012 as a high school project, but it's kind of grown its own legs and gone very uh, far, at least in terms of uh, what I thought it was going to do. To celebrate the 10 year anniversary is uh, two things. First, I made a video, which hopefully uh, you've already seen, but I also created a community poll asking um, what you would like to see us doing. And um, what you, you've you asked for is a look back to my first video and some behind the scenes for it. And if we go to my channel and sort by the date added oldest, you'll see that the first video is actually an intro video. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a look at the uh, my original intro. I can't really show you the audio due to obvious copyright reasons. You can still view the original if you want to. I'll give you some behind the scenes of that, but I'm also going into my first review for Lotus 2 and Virtual Racing and just sort of cringe at this. This is not going to be easy for me. It's going to be beyond embarrassing. So hopefully uh, this is going to be a lot more entertaining for you than it is going to be for me. Uh, let's start with the uh, the original intro. Oh, you, so many music. So uh, the original song that I used for this is a uh, two-door Camara Club something or another. Uh, at the time, I was playing Gran Turismo 5 a lot. And I really liked the song, and I felt that it sort of worked well for what I was trying to do with the channel. Originally the whole ch point of the channel, i uh, go more details on it with uh, with the uh, with the review, but it was originally supposed to be focused on trying to promote games that we were having a hard time selling. That's why I even talked about uh, Lotus 2. And the idea was I was going to make it like a Top Gear style uh, television show thing. I, I didn't really have that clear of an idea behind it, so that's what I did. And that's kind of where the intro came in, because I, I felt the song worked really well with uh, with it. And actually, just as a small aside, just this little section here, uh, what you're witnessing, uh, you might not notice it much, but you can kind of see I'm showing Battlefield 3 and then and a 4x3 aspect ratio, and then Call of Duty and a scrunch down 16x9. That's because back then I had an issue with recording devices because I, I was going in with no knowledge of anything at this point. So I didn't know uh, what I was doing. So originally I got this device from Hapog called an HD PVR or something or another. It was green, so it was meant for gaming, uh, but it could not pick up any signal I gave it that wasn't... Uh, that wasn't my composite. It had a component, it, it, uh, sorry, it, other component. It had composite inputs on the front, but they were not working. They wouldn't take any of my game signals. So um, I got some footage from that, and that's what you're seeing with the Call of Duty. But when I did the Battlefield, I went back to my dad's old uh, Roxio recorder that he got to back up his old VHS tapes that he never got around to doing. Uh, so I used that for a lot of the footage for this. Eventually, I did get my hands on uh, Roxio's uh, recorder. Uh, it was a Game Capture HD PVR, and I think I stole my dad's DVD player to get the footage. But uh, at least for the original video and this intro, uh, it was mostly through the uh, the Roxio uh, recorder. That's why you actually get that overscan area and... Why not? This was recorded, this was Sly, was on PS3, and oh god, that stupid thing. Anyways, yeah. yeah so that's, the, that's the intro. Like, There's a lot I did there, and it was mostly just to sort of test out my editing. And that was the primary, primary focus for uh, this whole thing, was just to test to see if I can do video editing. And I did, and actually I quite enjoyed it. Which is why I was able to actually go into and doing uh, the second, the actual video. Now, if you 
Now, on YouTube, at least from the way it sounds to me, it looks like I had to... Yeah, I totally had to uh, mute the uh, the audio for that. That's funny. But uh, for this... Okay, I can still hear myself. I drive a Lotus in the rain. Oh yeah, that that's yeah, awful. Crash into oncoming traffic. Yeah, that's funny, but um, but what I did is I realized during it that I couldn't uh, keep the full intro at forty something seconds because even I was getting bored at watching it while I was doing the edit. So I actually just cut it at a point, just to, so that it would work. Now, before we actually start the video, just to give you a scale for how sort of inexperienced I was at the whole video editing thing. The original logo for 16-bit uh, video game reviews actually came from Little Big Planet. Uh, I I could have used a paint software, but I wanted to do it in a Little Big Planet too. I'm pretty sure this logo still exists in a Little Big Planet uh, two level. But a lot of this was just down to whatever I could, whatever tools I could do it with, and whatever I was laying around. Evidenced by the simple fact of my original <laughs> this. Hello and welcome. Oh, Today I'm going to be reviewing God. two Sega Genesis racing games. This now, this exi this is an enthusiasm by the way. That my voice it's it's just pure exasperation. I had no script, no nothing, no notes, no anything. I just rambled for a long time and eventually I got to the point where I got an intro that was good enough and I just cut it but this is all one cut I didn't do anything here I, I did nothing here I did it was all one take one cut and I had to get it the first time I think I did eight ten times before I even got it yeah, that's the other thing. The room I was using it was just ill-suited, but it was whatever I can get my hands on. Eventually, I did in later videos. I did get a little better, but not by much. I'm going to be honest. But yeah, my cuts, my edits, everything is just. Unless it had the FX chip. Which Star Fox did have. Oh, uh, it's just like me just trying to explain to things. Come on, get to the point, Anyways, Andre. Get to the point. That was introduced by hard drive. Yeah, we're Sega Genesis. go. No. Surprise. Yeah. Which I, 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 I had no. I, I still have troubles actually trying to figure out how to do intros for these videos. But I at least try to make it short, sweet, concise, and at least get the point across that this is the game I'm talking about, and this is why I'm talking about it. But, oh my god, I really, I really had no reason. I had, I did do some research for this. You can tell I actually had some semblance of a thought going in, but. Oh man. I wonder if this is just me reading, oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, going back for a second. I wonder if this is just me reading off a Wikipedia article. But I want to just point something out. Three, two, one, Let's watch go. me. And I go and press the stop button on the recorder. <laughs> yes. Go me. Oh, you can tell this is my first ever time actually trying to do something like this because it's just. Okay, I said my bet. Stop. <laughs> oh, actually, if you listen closely, that's how I did this entire video because I had the mic. I'm going to pick up mine for a second. Literally in my hand, inches from my face, talking like this. And then any time I wanted to do it, I would tap the mic, tap the mic. Well, actually, I wouldn't be tapping the mic. I'd be turning it on and off. So you actually would hear those pips and pops in the video itself. And I just, oh, it's embarrassing. I, I'm keeping it up because this is the first video I've done. And, oh, yeah. I'm two minutes in and I still haven't gotten my point across. This game seems like it'll fit the bill. Designed by oh. Gremlin Graphics. Yep. By yeah. Read that Wikipedia this article, Andre. Read it. Oh, yeah. And I'm just stretching for stuff just because I, I, again, I don't know. I press all the things. I'm going to talk about all the things because I don't know how to review a game yet. Uh, like, uh, later on, I eventually get into a bit of a flow where I ra my rambles make some sense. A preset track. But, oh. 
is hit that reset button or just power yeah. your system off. By the way, like this game never sold. I never was able to sell Lotus 2. I think I eventually just gave it away as part of the like a big bundle of games to the local uh, retro game and movie shop. So, oh my god, poor, poor me. But I think this is something that even my modern, my current video still have an issue with. I have no clue how to start. Yeah, here we go. Basically, that, what is it? Five minute rant was just, a, oh, actually, I think it was like a three minute rant, two, three minute rant, was just about, uh, the first menu was confusing and I didn't know how to do anything with it. I'm sure it had a lot of detail and stuff in it, but it wasn't clearly designed and you obviously needed a manual. That's all I needed to say. I didn't know how to do it. Oh, oh sorry, the Hedgehog's not a pretty game, boy. Oh. You needed a... Come on, you knew Fantasy Star, Comic Zone, you played these games! This is prettier to Sonic, God. I have to admit, though, it is a pretty pretty game, and I think that's just because of the colors that it used. no story. This game, all four of them are excellent. Yeah, I mean, once you get to the... And I haven't really mentioned... Six-minute mark, it gets pretty good. I'm, I'm stiff, it's... It's stiff. Now, back when the game was new, it was expensive, and you were better off just buying outright. Well, the price for Lotus 2. I was not very good at playing this game. CS. How much was this back then? Go. Go now, buddy. Tell me. A dollar or two. And from where I am, five dollars and nine cents. But yeah, best racing game. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. You never played this game afterwards. Hamming it up to sell. Again, like the goal was to try to get people to buy stuff. All 2.5D racing games. Outrun what's together. better, buddy, and, and you know it. I want to play 3D racing games. Actually, no. You Top Gear is better. Genesis. Top Gear for the Super well, Nintendo worry, is better. There's a game for you. And this is where, in my opinion, this is my first proper review, and it was good. Name companies i have ever seen sega amusement machine research and development oh companies. stop reading wikipedia sega please yes i get it you read the wikipedia but you don't need and to talk about it. it's fluff has a proper menu <laughs> no i agree with that actually i like you do have my taste was more of the arcade games and, and it's absolutely showing in here which is a price worth paying Although, yeah this was oh whoa, whoa, whoa which is a price worth paying there it goes. Right here, came I back online. I would have driven in the future with a turbo zone <laughs> and red pavement. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't stop. If you're rambling, you're not being funny. But right now, I'm just bewildered that a 16-bit system with a blast processor uh -huh. was so let's talk about it. of producing these graphics. The Super Nintendo. Come on, you can mention it? I believe that nope. this chip... Nope, you did not mention it. The bit that he should have said, which I sh would definitely mention now, this is the first and only game, and the price was so exorbitant that it wasn't worth developing other titles. That's why uh, the 32X was uh, more pushed by Sega of America, because it allowed them to extend the Genesis's ancient hardware out without actually causing compromise, which I could have said, because as you'll see a little later, I do have the 32X at this point, and yet I don't talk about it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Better. Oh. For example, if I was to play Star Fox, this is just better. Yes, it is. But yes, greatest ge Genesis racing game ever, Lotus 2, is surpassed by Virtual Race. A bit more oh, well defined. Come on. I mean, these graphics are great, especially for a Sega Genesis, but. Get to the point. Later, this was there we go. Sega 32 yes. add on system, which uh. posted. I mean, I, you gotta give him credit. I gotta give myself credit. I am ad-libbing this whole thing, and it does sound like it was scripted. I'm just poorly reading a script. But the fact that I'm, I'm pulling this out of my butt. <laughs> I still have this game. This is a really good game. Really hard to get game nowadays. Really hard to get, hard to get game, and actually quite difficult to back up. I have, even with the the backup systems that I have here, I can't back up this game. Which is okay. As of yet, the one of these days I might probably make a video about it, saying that this is the greatest backup system ever if I can. <laughs> really? The only reason but, yeah. Why you would purchase this game 
It's because you do not feel like buying a 32X system. Most people won't feel like buying a 32X, buddy. Oh, oh, I blew into the mic. There's me blowing into the mic. Actually, that was a problem I had until recently, until I got a sock. To buy a I, 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 I think the way I used to do it was keeping my far away from me, so or above me, so I don't believe into it. The game itself is eight dollars, so about a hundred and eight dollars for Virtual Racing Deluxe. Come on. And the price. Thirty-two X is a lot more expensive nowadays, and the game itself is more expensive. Eleven dollars. Virtual so Racing eleven dollars. You are going to be saving. Ninety-seven dollars. Hold up, I'm actually gonna check that. How much? Uh, I'm gonna check that the time. VG seven dollars. I let me just actually check the pricing, cause so this was 2012. Holy shoot! Two twelve. Eleven dollars was shipping from America. That sounds right. Nowadays, twenty bucks. That can't be right. That, that can't be right. Wondering if they're including the 32X game with the, no, 20 bucks? Wow, what the hell? I remember this being a lot more expensive. Or maybe I was just remembering uh, 2019. <laughs> uh, although how much is Lotus 2 nowadays? That's gonna be Lotus 2. R-E-C-S, it's still cheap. I mean, I'm going to be honest, like, <laughs> as horrible as my opinions are, and the, as horrible as the video actually is, uh, and uh, how, oh yeah, no, 88 cents, yeah, you wondering why I had issues selling it, and there you go. Yeah, it's still worthless, but I mean, if you're starting a Genesis collection, it's not a half bad racing game, and that's the... Oh, and that's the weirdest thing. Yeah, I know I'm talking to my older self in this case, but I'm looking at this video. I'm looking at what I'm talking about. I'm looking at whom I'm talking to, and I'm going to be honest. As rough as this is, there's a lot in here that actually still holds up very, very well. My opinions, my the the overall opinions, the overall style, shape, size, everything about the game just is right. It's just, I didn't know how to communicate that. And I've spent basically 10 years trying to get my opinions across in a way that people could understand it. Most of that, and I'm pretty sure the editor of this video can agree to this, but a lot of that is just cutting out a lot of my rambles and concising my sentences down to a solid idea or a solid structure. And that was something I didn't have the finesse nor the ability to do back then. And nowadays, it's it's uh, I have tools at my discretion to make things better, do, uh, like scripting and having a teleprompter and so on and so forth. But yet I can sit here, even today, I can sit here and do ad lib and just comment and talk about things while ha holding a somewhat consistent point and with some editing to make the thoughts coherent and the sentences not be completely run on it works out a lot better um i just feel so bad for younger me i wish i could just tell him all that i know today and this could have been a better video but i feel there it was a really really good uh Thank starting you point review and of these games here are on sale now. Wait for it. Wait for it. 16-bit video game store. Plug! Yes! The 16-bit store has been going on for 10 years now, but we've really changed. We went from selling crap like this to selling uh, 3D printed stuff like this. Video still up, and I'm happy to see that um, it's still. Well, there's some value to gain from it, even if it's just to dissect the decaying corpse of. Oh my God! What the hell did I do? <laughs> uh, I think the only other behind the scenes was this was kind of the pilot to show that this is my idea. The original business was supposed to be I have a store and I use a YouTube channel to promote the store. That was the basic idea and the insane thing is that's always been this channel's goal. 
whether or not it was selling used games on eBay, uh, trying to promote and market my mobile apps when I eventually started doing that in 2015, and when I really started trying to make more videos again, or trying to push and sell the new version of the 16-bit store of my uh, 3D printed designs and projects. It's insane, but if you actually sit back and think about it, 16-bit review has always just been that tool that I use to go and promote and have my voice and not only share my opinion on things, no matter how small or trivial it is, but also as a means to promote what I'm doing outside of it. And that's been true, that was true to 2012 and it's this true in 2022. I don't see an end to me doing 16-bit review. I might slow down, I might speed up, I might do more, perhaps not have uh, times where I take a break. But I have a feeling that no matter what I do, I'm still going to come back to 16-bit and I'm still going to be making content. Whether or not it's promoting something or in another will depend on what I'm doing. I mean, <laughs> I was selling games. Now I'm selling accessories to systems that were once upon a time new. A lot has changed in those years, but I'm surprised how much of it's still the same. But anyways, thank you for listening to this very long ramble. I hope you have yourself a good day, and as always, take care.